all right, I'm uh, I'm gonna hit you with some left fieldness. Part of speculative masonry is describing to people that can't see the things that they can't see. You know, what we're doing in masonry is we're paying attention to the invisible stuff in a way. You know, and what I mean by invisible is I mean invisible to your eyes, to the eyes that, that report to your body and stuff like that. You know, um, anybody that's got any kind of uh, invisible kind of knowledge, if you want to call it, has probably heard of something called an aura. And it's a, it's a spectrum of light that comes from around your body that you can't see with your physical eyes because of the spectrums that the light is in. Um, what your aura is, is it's a light with this particular color and this color is a combination of the light coming from your energy centers in your body and from your vital body, which is uh, a, another body of light that sticks out from your physical self about an inch and a half. And so that's about a, that's all, that's usually a peach colored light, but however that interacts with your energy centers in your body, which put on different, put off different spectrums of light also, the combination of all those spectrums makes what people refer to as your aura. So the way that you change your aura is, uh, is by the way that you internally reflect on yourself. And, um, <clears throat> One of the things that you can do to make your aura more healthy is to um, is to have inner periods, even if it's only for five minutes a day, you have inner periods of reverence. Like whenever you have reverence for something, like whenever you hold something as sacred, like the river, for example, like if you consider the sound of the river sacred, Whenever you tr internally reflect on that, you start changing your whole aura tone to like a bluish purple color, and uh, which is which is the healthy and productive color that a person's aura should be when all the chakras are running in the right ways. So even if you only could take five minutes a day, take it and pick something in your life and hold reverence to it, and it will keep the energy centers and your spiritual self healthy. So that your physical self can, you know, so that you can be available to attend to the rest of your life. You know what I mean? You can't spend all, of, I mean, you can, but it's not good for you to spend all of your time wiping everyone else's ass. Um, even if you can only take five, even if you could only take one minute to stop and have reverence for something. And it will help to keep your energy levels in healing mode because that's what you need when you go out and deal with the world they're gonna chip away at you by the things they say and, and the attitudes that you get but you have to take that moment to hold something in reverence to balance to heal and anyone who could see you, you may not be able to see auras but anybody who could see your aura will tell you too like hey you look great. You know, they'll be looking at you like, if you know, I mean, I have a couple people in my life that see auras, man. And, and when you, and when you get on that level, when you start taking that moment to hold stuff in reverence, they'll start getting at you. You don't even have to tell them. Like, you may be praying rosaries and not tell anybody about it, but these folks that are seers that really can't see, and there are people that can see these things is what you have to understand is, is the, um, and there's certain kinds of photography that can prove it so that you can still see it. You just have to look at it on the screen, man. But, uh, you know, you have to exercise your faculties in order to make use of them. And um, anyways, I just want uh, everybody to be healthy out there. So even if it's 30 seconds, even if it's 10 seconds, just hold something in reverence and get all your light energies. Because the health of your light energies directly reflects in your physical situation. And, and, if you, and you would be amazed at how well things will go in your normal life if you can take that moment to hold reverence. Anyway, I'll holler at you guys this evening.